is up guys it is your boy my imagery style with a fresh new video and we're gonna be reviewing one of the most highly anticipated shoes of this spring and possibly even the summer now usually i start off with you know the shoe box but i kind of want to show you guys the box because like it kind of nike kind of changed it up a little bit they put their swoosh and then they also put like uh, their own custom just do it tape yeah so when i was walking back with the box to my place you know a lot of people were giving me looks and they were like nice and i was like yeah you know just a quick flex. flex. But now we actually get to the actual shoe box and it is one of the most unique shoe boxes I've ever seen. I thought it was going to be, you know, just kind of bland, but no, they got every single Air Max logo since 1987 when the first Air Max came out. And it's just the small things that you appreciate when you're doing these unboxings. It's just like unboxing like a uh, Apple device. Nike have really been stepping up their game lately. And yeah, salute to them for that. Now the market price for these babies is 180 US dollars. It is a lot, but this is just as much as normal ultra boost shoes are getting expensive so basically you know that's how the market is at this point but expect it to go down just give you a few months when more colorways just come out and on the topic of colorways there is a bunch of colorways that are coming out there's some that are even like coming out at the time i'm posting this video some of them are limited some of them are not now last year as you know the 270s came out and now this year is this year the 720s and the reason why they're going with these numbers is actually because the sole is comprised of 720 degrees of air units and it's actually the tallest Nike Air Max Air Unit up to date with 38 millimeters. Now there is this rubber like glossy type material that goes above the outsole and kind of like holds the shoe together. The only issue I have with that is it, it makes the shoe more of like a dust collector. It's kind of sticky so that's going to be an issue in terms of keeping them clean. And then you can see that the toe box is reinforced with some plastic material and then we go up to the laces and it is a big disappointment. But did you offer an extra pair of laces and the Nike box so we all gucci and then the inner sole can be removed but it is a little bit sticky so i didn't want to remove it that's why i usually show you guys but you're gonna have to trust me on this one it is removable the tongue is also detached from the shoe so it's not a one whole unit and the also is just kind of meh it's just basically rubber but you know it, this shoe is not supposed to be meant for athletic purposes just lifestyle so you know it's not that much of a big deal and so now we're gonna test out the shoe and i'm gonna pop the air unit yes we're gonna pop the air unit let's see what happens in three two one stupid i'm not gonna let you get the chance okay y'all must be out of your mind if you thought i was gonna do that like what do, what do you expect was gonna happen see i'm not like one of those tech youtubers that you know buys a new product and destroys it you know no shoes get harmed during a Mighty Madrista video. Now, usually I do have an eye view of this shoe that kind of shows like if there's any reflectivity or if it changes like, you know, different shades of colors or something like that. But it, I didn't bother to do it because when I did it, I, it, it's literally the exact same thing. There's no reflectivity or any of that stuff. So, yeah. But all in all, okay, wait, hold up, hold up, pause. Now, nah, we're going to have to change those socks. See, style tip. When you're wearing these types of shoes, especially bulky ones, I think it looks best to have the long socks and definitely not ankle socks. So that's more like it. Now, in terms of comfort, it is actually one of the more comfortable shoes of the Air Maxes. So I'll give it about like a 3.5 out of 5. And then in terms of durability, this shoe will be very durable. Got 4.5 out of 5. Yes, we're adding decimals. You know, we got to be more specific. As long as you just don't pop the Air Max bubbles, you should be fine. Water resistance, I'll just give them a 3 out of 5. Uh, there's not really that much holes in the shoes. So not many places that the water can seep in but in terms of breathability i'll give them a 2.5 out of 5 there isn't any like that much breathable technology going through the whole shoe uh because it's you know it's mainly encased but it's not that big of a deal but i will give them a 5 out of 5 on the drip index scale because you know it got that futuristic look and i always like love the air max bubble so there's more of it so you know you're gonna be stunting on those fools okay i'm done but anyways guys thanks for watching the video please like comment anything uh any questions you have of the shoe or any shoes you want me to review in the near future and yeah it's been your boy mighty madrisa and until next time guys peace